Commons, the Honourable Member for Sandwich Gulf Islands. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and thanks to colleagues and other parties who held back so that I could ask this question. Further to the excellent points by the Honourable, made by the Honourable Member for South Okanagan West Kootenai, I want to direct the Parliamentary Secretary to the observations filed by the Standing Senate Committee on Energy, the Environment and Natural Resources, which, which accompanied the amendments. And they say very clearly to the point that we do not have a right to a healthy environment in S5, no matter how much propaganda tells us we do. I'll quote from point four of their uh, uh, important submission, which is, the committee would like to state their concern that the right to a healthy environment cannot be protected unless it is truly enforceable. This enforceability would come by removing the barriers that exist under the current remedy authority within section 22. And closing with this sentence, quote, as Bill S5 does not propose the removal or re-evaluation of these barriers, this committee is concerned that the right to a healthy environment may remain unenforceable, close quote. Is the government prepared to do what the Senate committee has challenged them to do and which Canadians expect? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Well, I want to thank uh, my uh, colleague and, and, and friend for that, uh, that question. And, and Madam Speaker, this is the first time uh, in the history of SEPA that a right to a healthy environment is... Uh, is there is front and, and center and and madam speaker that will be debated uh, in this house uh, at uh, at committee and and the honorable member will will uh, have the opportunity to to make those uh, points again but as the honorable member will know uh, that uh, uh, formerly c28 now s5 uh, gives two years to to uh, uh, codify and, and, and um, to, uh, to uh, uh, specify uh, the, all of the uh, conditions to, um, to uh, uh, implement that right to a healthy environment.